Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Cliff with Pen Flamingo Power Wash. Back with another video for you guys. I'm doing a video for you guys that's been asking about uh, my van setup, how I got everything laid out. Uh, so I'm taking the time out today, you know what I'm saying, just to go ahead and show you guys, you know, how everything is laid out. And uh, also I'm gonna show you guys my little chemical lined up that I keep on the, on the van at all times. Um, never know what you're gonna come across. So I try to keep, you know, less things as possible in the van that can get me, you know what I'm saying, the most, uh, you know, bang for my buck. If I go to a customer's house and I see something that needs to get cleaned, you know, I can go ahead and jump on that because I got the chemicals on deck. I'll show y'all the, uh, the setup. Let's go. All right, so now we're gonna start from the back. Uh, I have a 5.5 GPM, 3500 PSI, uh, Honda GX630. Uh, it's, it's been working pretty good. I think I have about uh, maybe 350 hours on it, maybe, maybe 300. I just did a fresh oil change on it not so long ago. Um, back up here, I have a 18 inch reel, which I had mounted to the roof it's an 18 inch uh, summit. These are one of my first hose reels I had before I got these two. I bought them used. You know, in the beginning, you gotta get what you can get so you can get to work. Um, I have it plumbed in here to my Hudson float valve, which is over there. I'll show you guys that side when I get over there. Um, I have two 18 inch Titan hose reels. 200 feet of uh, high pressure line on here and also 200 feet of half inch ag hose uh, for my soft wash. Um, I do have a injector bypass here through a ball valve that I can switch it to go to the buffer when I want to inside my, my injector. This saves me right here so I don't have to um, pull out a bucket and drop my you know my line to the bucket to clean out my injector i can just twist this so if i twist it this way it's gonna pull out from this tank here which is a 15 gallon tank i keep straight sh in this is my downstreaming tank right here so um but yeah man i got the battery over here my gas tank on this side i keep my surface cleaner my 20 inch surface cleaner right here and I also have another one over there I'll show you guys. I got my brush, this pull right here. I can put my attachments like my brush over there, my hard bristle brush. I can also use it for this brush here. It's like a gutter brush. I love it, man, because you can put it any way you want for whatever angles you want to use. I also got on a small bristle brush right here. Um, but I got back here. This is this is the gutter tool that I keep on here for my gutter cleaning. This thing right here is a lifesaver and a back saver. <laughs> uh, what else I got back here? I got two ladders up top. I got a 24 foot ladder here, and I got a 28 foot ladder right here. All right, on this side door, I do have a hot box for hot water when I need it I can connect it it does run off of, um, the uh, generator which I don't have in here I only bring it when I need to use it but um, I had this fabricated so if I'm using it I can pull the stack out and point it out the door so uh, all the soot and all that don't go inside the van I have a hundred and thirty gallon um, buffer tank right here for my uh, water I have this 55 gallon drum which I use for my uh, roof mix for batch mixing um, I do run the Remco uh, 7 GPM 100 PSI pump I wired it into this uh, three-way banjo so same thing with the downstream I don't have to Pull the suction line right here and put it inside a water tank, I mean a, a water bucket to clean out the pump. I can just switch this uh, bypass right here, ball valve. When it's in the up position, it's gonna pull from this hose here, which follows and goes into the buffer tank. 
pull out water to clean out the pump. And then when I wanna use it for roof cleaning, I just put it down here so it draws out of this one here. All right. So put on water for now. I got a uh, extra 100 foot of hose here, just in case anything happens. And I got my jack back here for emergency purposes. Uh, you know, keep a drill on deck. And I also have the ladder stabilizer in here. All right, so inside of here, I got my 16 inch whisper wash, <laughs> which was almost brand new before I upgraded when I had my full GPM. I've only used it a handful of times, but I love it though. It works really good. Um, besides that, in here, that's it in here for now. Let's go check out my chemical lineup. All right, for my chemical lineup, of course we got SH that we keep on deck. Uh, I use the gutter grenade for all the gutter cleaning and um, oxidation, black streaks and all that come off the gutters. Uh, element uh, laminator right here I use, but not too often. I'm not a fan of it because uh, it just requires a lot and it's not cheap. I got this uh, neutral bleach. It was something I bought just in case, you know, uh, in the beginning before I did my bed liner, I wanted something to, uh, to kind of like protect the floor. Uh, I'm not sure if it works, man, tell the truth. I I've used it, but I can't say it works or if it doesn't work. So uh, here I got my um, F9 bark for, you know, battery stains, uh, acid stain removal, rust removal. Uh, works pretty good on that. For my surfactant, I use Slow Mo by Pressure Washer Products. It's my favorite for sure. <laughs> That's my two go right here. Doesn't have a scent to it, but man, a little bit goes a long way. In here, I have a degreaser, which is a uh, Stampede Plus, made by the same company, Pressure Washer Products. Got my gas tank over here, got some combs. And these are my tools over here I keep on here. Got my blower. I got the charger in the truck. My little tool set. Got some more tools right here. And this all my fittings and stuff like that. Oh yeah, by the way, man, this right here works really good on those um, quick connects. If they're sticking on you, this is what I use. But yeah, I keep all my, you know, J-Rod, some swivels in here. Got some O-rings, swivels, like I said, I got, uh, bunch of stuff in here man repair kits for the injectors you know all stuff that you need all right guys so this is the setup man hope you guys liked it you know shoot me some ideas how uh, what would you do different I know some people put their hose reels on this side you know some people put them back there like I did you know, I mounted mine up top. I haven't seen nobody do theirs like that, but this right here cons conserves a whole space back there where I don't have to mount anything because now I can actually walk through here to go back there. All right, guys, I, check I appreciate y'all checking out the videos. Comment and subscribe below, and uh, I'll see y'all on the next video.